Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How is everybody doing? Um, <clears throat> good morning from New Jersey. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you slept well. I think there's a conspiracy against me sleeping. People just do not want me to sleep and I don't know why. Everybody wakes me up. I'm in a hotel away from my kids and nobody lets me sleep. I don't know why. I cannot understand it. Um, things are going well in New Jersey. I think I am going to, I just woke up like, no, I've been up like 30 minutes. Um, I think I'm going to go to the cemetery and see my dad today. So uh, that is exciting for me. I didn't get to go yesterday. Um, but things are going really well. Oh my God, my lips probably are still stained from my lipstick last night. You know me, I always sleep in my makeup. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about the notion that it is okay to not be okay. I am um, painfully aware that there is a certain sort of, let's make up a new emotion. So, I don't want to say like, it's like a, there's a certain disgusted guilt. Should we call it disgusted guilt that comes with going through a hard season in your life and people saying you should be enjoying every minute of it. Like, no, not every minute of life, not every minute of your whatever season you are going through can be enjoyed. Some seasons suck. That is the truth. Some seasons, some transitions, some growth in our life, challenges, whatever, suck. I'm not saying they're not needed, but the notion that we should be enjoying every minute is such bullshit crap. I caught myself. I caught myself. For those of you who write me messages about not cursing in coffee talk, you are absolutely right, and I am working on it. Um, you know, I... <clears throat> I think it is especially important to let people know that it is okay to feel the proper response and emotion to whatever season you are going through in your life. Um, you know, we as human beings want to make other people feel better. I get it. Nobody wants to make you guys feel better more than me. I always want to say something that will make your day better because I love you. I also understand that their father, who watches my kids, their father, <laughs> that's who. Um, I also understand that um, life is a gift. I get it. Life is a gift. We Every day that we wake up, we are fortunate. Not everybody gets that. I totally get it. When we have our health, it is all wonderful. But guess what? There are some seasons that suck. There are just some seasons that suck. There are times in our life where we experience pain, loss, uh, embarrassment, disappointment, frustration, all normal, 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 normal. And the notion that we are never allowed to sit with those feelings because life is the gift. And child, you just need to wake up every day so incredibly thankful. I don't know where that accent came from or who that was, by the way. I Clearly some character I just made up. Um, uh, I, I, I just want to express, I, I need to do a better job of this because... It is important to me that the person who needs to hear this message hear it the right way. 
whatever it is that you are going through in your life, whatever season you have been brought into, I will not say things to you like, there is a reason for everything because I know about those seasons. I know about the seasons where it is so painful and you are convinced truly that the sun will never shine again. And when people say to you, everything happens for a reason and you're gonna be just fine and try to focus on the good things and blah, all of those things that people say because they genuinely want you to feel better. I would like to say to you, it is okay to not be okay with every season of your life. It is okay to acknowledge that whatever you are going through is not fun, is, does not feel like a blessing. Now it may be a lesson, but we all know that some lessons are, are painful. You know, and, and some situations, oh, I, I will tell you the lip stain in a minute. <clears throat> Some situations do not warrant a celebration. Some situations do not warrant gross appreciation for life. Some seasons of your life warrant laying in bed, watching mindless episodes of Sex in the City, eating ice cream out of the container and crying. Sometimes you have to cry. It is okay to say, this is happening in my life and I am not happy about it. This season is hard. This season does not feel good. This season is not uplifting to me. This season is not where I want to be. It is okay to acknowledge that whatever season you are in does not work for you. And I just want to tell you that it is okay because the notion that you have to be happy with every single thing that happens in your life is setting us all up for emotional failure. Now I will say typically things do work out in the end. Typically you will look back at the seasons of your life and go, who, someone's at my door and it's probably somebody annoyed that I'm yelling on Coffee Talk. I can't imagine who it would be. Fucking seven something in the morning. Who is it? Yeah, what? Oh, okay. Here, I'll do it when I come down. I'm going to check out and sign everything. No, you're supposed to say I'm supposed to close. I have to sign for my coffee. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think sometimes we need to hear that it's okay to not love every season of our life. Truly. I think it is, uh, it is ex ex like, we need to hear that. We need to hear that it is okay to not love every season of our life. Much in the way that when your child is throwing a stage five public meltdown, and someone's like, enjoy every minute. I look at my kid on the floor, I go, really? You want me to enjoy this? This is the minute you want me to enjoy? While Charlie's on the floor in Target? You, this, what, what? What? Or when I literally want to pull Michael's lip up over his face and staple it to his forehead because if I hear him say one more word, I'm gonna go postal. And everyone's like, you're so lucky to have Michael. You're so lucky. Really? Really? Not, I don't feel that way every minute. Okay? I don't feel that way every minute. I love my kids every day and I love my husband every day, but I don't enjoy every minute of every season of parenting and marriage and life. It's not real. It's not real, folks. It's not real. So when you have When you have moments in your life where you look around and you understand that you have blessings, but you just don't love the season you're in, 
okay? It is okay. It doesn't mean you don't appreciate the blessings you have. It doesn't mean you don't love your children. It doesn't mean you don't love your spouse. It just means that you don't love every season of every season of every season of your life because that's not real. It's not a real thing. It doesn't exist. It's fake. It lives in the world of Harry Potter. And unless you're Hermione or whatever her name is, Hermione, Hermione, whatever, it doesn't exist. That's all I want to tell you. So next time you look around your situation and you acknowledge that you have blessings, you're blessed, but you go, oh, today sucked. Everything sucks. I hate everybody today. Guess what? Another Coffee Talk family member is sitting somewhere in her life hating the season she's in too. And you know what? It's solidarity. Okay? Okay. Um, all right. I love you guys so much. You know that I do. Um, and I will tell you about the conversations and the meetings um, that I had as soon as they're all over. I'm going home tomorrow but I wanted to show you guys something. Can I show you guys something that I found? Or is it too early? Is it too early to show you something a little risque? Tell me the truth. Don't get mad, don't unfollow me, don't tell me you hate me, and don't whatever. Just tell me if it's too early to show you something I found. I love you too. Is it too early to show you something a little pillow talk? Or should I show it at night? Show? Okay. Somebody gave me this last night, my girlfriend, who I love. Hi, Mary. Okay. See this makeup brush? Look at this. Travel makeup brush? How cute is this? But ready, ladies? Hold on. Oh. So, just want to say, if anybody needs a makeup brush, I can recommend one. Just wanted to say it. I was like, where did it come from? Oh my God. Who, where, what? Suddenly, I'm going to become the girl that brings makeup on every trip. Uh, I'm sorry, this is too funny for me. I was like, she was like, here, you'll love this. And I was like, what is it? And I started going like this and it started, <laughs> it started vibrating. I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I was cracking up. I was cracking up. Now the poor conservative people on Coffee Talk, not conservative, but like, you know what I mean. People who would not necessarily share that, who have already shared this video are probably like, Jamie, my mother-in-law is going to see this. I'm sorry. It was super, oh my God. I am Iron Woman. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't make it shut off. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I promise. Um... All right, clearly I'm not mature enough for for toys like that. I'm just not mature enough. I'm sorry. Uh, Amanda, you almost made me choke on my coffee. Um, okay, thank you to everybody who shares my videos. I appreciate you so much. I'm trying to get to 500,000. I feel like we get close and then we they they decide they don't like me and they leave. For anybody who could please share this video, I would appreciate it. Let Help me get to 500,000 so I can show you my, my big surprise for you guys. Um, and for those of you who have come over to find me on Instagram um, and are brave enough to stay, uh, thank you. I am Jamie P. Sullivan on Instagram, and it is funny. Jamie P. Sullivan. You will love it. Um, and... I love you so much today. <clears throat> Is this thing on? Have a great day. <laughs>